Chairman. Uh, I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Terry Sewell and uh, Devin Nunes, uh, for their bipartisan work on this bill, the Hearts and uh, Rural Relief Act. Uh, included in that is a, a bill we've worked on from, for some time, uh, Protecting Access to Wheelchairs Act, uh, along with my colleague uh, Lee Zeldin of New York and my colleagues Representative Higgins and uh, Chu and the indomitable Mike Kelly, who uh, have worked on this uh, legislation. It passed here last year, but uh, it did not in the uh, Senate. Um, this bill will help uh, to prevent complex rehabilitative technology, manual wheelchairs, and accessories from being priced based on Centers for Medicare and Medicaid services. Uh, it's, uh, this is uh, specialized equipment. Uh, it's customized to meet the individual needs and unique medical requirements to maximize an individual's independence. Uh, a constituent of mine, Todd Johnston from Portland, with Connecticut, was in my office just yesterday. He uses a, a specially designed wheelchair. Uh, since an accident he had at age 22 rendered him paralyzed below the waist. I am proud uh, that a company in my district, New Motion, uh, delivered 469 manual wheelchairs to Connecticut uh, customers and touched nearly 2,641 uh, customers across the uh, state with uh, a, any type of mobility device or service event during 2018. I'd also like to commend again, and uh, Representative uh, Nunez represented this, the Ambulatory Surgical Center Payment and Transparency Act, which is included in this bill as well. The bill ensures that Medicare beneficiaries continue to have access to care in uh, AC, uh, ASCs, and that taxpayers and that senior dollars are spent uh, wisely. I want to thank and commend Mr. Nunez, and with that, I yield back my I thank the gentleman.